Hey guys, it's C-Stack here bringing you a video tutorial on how to properly record your voice while recording in-game with Bandicam. This will probably be a tutorial most useful for those looking to get into commentary and things like that. Um, before, I knew how to record my voice while I was playing games and recording them with Bandicam, but my problem was I could never get my voice to be louder than the game itself, and the game's volume would just overpower my voice and... It would make my voice really quiet, hard to hear, and just generally unprofessional. So in this video, I'm going to kind of tell you how to fix that, and if you're looking for a solution to that, then you've definitely come to the right place. So starting off here, the first thing you want to do is open up Bandicam before you start recording, and under the Video tab, you want to click Settings. When you're in Settings, I think the primary sound device should be set to Win 7 sound or Win Vista sound, depending on what you have for an operating system. I have Windows 7, so it says Win 7 sound. And the secondary by default is set to disable. So what you want to do is change it from Win 7 or whatever you have under primary. You want to change it to your microphone. In this case, I'm using a microphone called the Samson CO1U. So that's why that's there. And then under secondary, you want to change it from disable to your your uh, Win 7 or Win Vista or whatever you have. After you've done that, you want to click OK. And the next thing you want to do is go under Control Panel. Once you're in Control Panel, you want to open up Hardware and Sound. When you're in Hardware and Sound, you want to go over to Manage Audio Devices. And then once I'm in Manage Audio Devices, I'm going to go over to Recording. Under recording, it displays all the audio devices for recording things, and as you can see, you can see my microphone here, and when I talk, that little one green bar shows up to show that my microphone is actually working. So, once you're in here, you want to double-click your little microphone icon, go over to the Levels tab. Once you're in the Levels tab, it should start by default around 50 or so, or at least that's where mine started. So, I'm going to go ahead and turn this up and you'll see that as I turn it up my voice is getting more and more louder and you can hear me more and more so I'm going to turn it up to 100 just to ensure that I've got good volume and you guys can hear me well and I'm sorry you can probably hear my dog barking because it's obnoxious and loud so I'm going to click OK and as you can see where it was barely making one bar before it's actually going up to four or five or more or whatever that is, I didn't really pay attention to it, but anyways, once you've done that, you want to click OK, and then once you go out of that, you're going to go ahead and close out of control panel. And then the next thing you want to do, I already have it up, but for extra measure, you want to also go into your speaker, little your little speaker icon in the bottom right corner of your screen. You want to right click it and open up your volume mixer. Under your volume mixer, you want to locate what game you're going to be playing for your commentary and I chose Killing Floor for this example because it happens to be a very loud game with lots of explosions, gunshots, all sorts of chaos. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this down to around 40. It doesn't really matter what you wanna do, you can experiment it and do whatever you want with it. It kinda depends how loud you want it to be in relation to your voice, but I'm just gonna go ahead and keep mine around 40. So right now I'm going to cut this video off and start up the recording again once I'm in game. Alright, now that I'm in Killing Floor, I'm going to go ahead and go under Settings and do the obvious, which you've probably already done, but just for the sake of being thorough, I'm going to go ahead and turn down my game volume. What a shocker. So I'm going to turn it down to .1, which is the lowest I can get it in this case. Again it's really up to you you can make it louder or you, if you really want you can make it no volume at all but I like to have some of the game volume in my commentary so I'm gonna go ahead and take this down to point one but if you want to make it louder you can it depends and it's your preference so I'm gonna go ahead and for demonstration I'm gonna make a bunch of noise and I'm gonna shoot at this wall and throw a grenade at it while talking so as you can see I'm talking right now and you can hear clearly hear my voice. I'm going to throw a grenade as well. And no matter how much noise is going on, you can still clearly hear my voice and this is kind of how you want to go about 
making your commentaries and making your voice a lot clearer and more audible than the game itself. So I hope this helps. I hope you enjoyed it. This about sums it up. Thank you for watching. Yeah.